I'm not sure why he's up here while I'm doing this, but you know what? He is. <laughs> what are we gonna do if it doesn't look good, Josh? We always do. Do it again. <laughs> Tear it on, do it again. Well, when we started out, the things were much easier. We could write down our dreams and somehow they appear. Oh, but not now. Oh, but not now. Yeah, when we started out, the things seemed so clear. Finish our fears with a kiss and a bottle of beer. Oh, but not now. Oh, but not now. Not sure where those days they went, but they're gone now. And I don't know how. Well, I don't know how. Well, I wish that I had just a day or two. The issue is the middle. It looks like it's kind of bubbled out when that sun hits it. So I'm trying to uh, pretty much fan this out a little bit wider. And then going from here and keeping the same height as the middle right now and working my way down and slope it down both directions. So when I do sand it, it looks like it's, it has the appearance that's flat. Well, it's not going to be flat, but it has the appearance that's flat when it's fanned out. So that's what I'm working towards right now. Mudding this wall is not actually what we're focused on today. It's just that that wall has been driving us nuts to look at. So slowly but surely, we're gonna get it right. <laughs> it's just taking us a while. <laughs> so we're gonna let it dry now. So hopefully this is our final coat, we'll see. Since I haven't been feeling well, we took a break from working on the foundation so that I could heal up. In the meantime, we finished the great room and decided to turn our attention to finishing the kitchen since we finally picked out the tile for the backsplash. Looks so much better though. All right. I'll touch it up with white paint when we yeah. get the paint off for this. Of course. I'm not sure why he's up here while I'm doing this, but you know what? He is. <laughs> you silly boy. I got, only got one screw in there. I'm gonna go ahead and mud over top of that, call it done, let's sit for a while. Then we'll go ahead and mortar for the towel and start laying towel over top of that. I'm not gonna get too crazy with that, that's good enough. All I need is something to just pretty much hold the towels together, that's all. Just like with that one section of drywall not being perfect over there, having the backsplash incomplete has just been kind of driving us nuts. And you guys too, I'm sure, right? Josh, it can't only be me. Yeah, right. <laughs> So the prep work for the backsplash is done. So we're waiting for it to dry. So I guess we're going to work mm -hmm. on the wood right here that's going to meet up against the tile backsplash. Yeah, so we're actually gonna drop this down and bring wood down to here and hold back sides we all, um, I guess, tile. And once we get this all down, we're gonna go ahead and paint, mm -hmm. do the same thing on the other side. Then we'll go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and fix this whole trim mess area up and get that stuff fixed up. How's it look? But wait, you're, you don't, the seam's not going to be lined up if you put it back that far. What seam? Right here in the corner. That'd be fine. We'll butt to that, we caulk it, you won't see a thing. You don't think we should do it the same way we did all the other ones? I thought about it, but here's the thing. 
In order for us to do it that way, it would mean I'd need this exact dimension of this piece that goes right here. And we don't have it until we've done the tile. I mean, I, I get it with measuring the tile, but if, it goes, if it's off just a little bit, I gotta, I gotta cut it from here, it's just a complete another pain. Okay. So I'm gonna do it like this, now butt there, and you're right, you'll see a seam originally, but... We'll just cock it, no one will ever know. <laughs> that's right. I'd wait forever I'd spend all my money to spend more time with you It may sound a little bit funny There's no one else like you say that you do I was on the long road running Found my way to you From driving rain to sunny We made it through They might say we were So the beam is installed. Josh added in a little like kind of angled piece to make everything blend a little bit better because if you remember the issue that we were having was a design issue on our part where when we put the cabinets in, we didn't take in account enough space for this beam that was going to be coming down. So having it kind of like fade in and close behind on the other side of the cabinet is where our issue was. So he blended it really well. He added in some wood filler so everything starts to look like one piece. And that means we are gonna be ready to stain in like two hours, right? Hopefully. It's gotta sit for a little bit and then we can get in there and stain it the early American color. So I had to pull this off a little bit, pull his nails out and my back in and nail it in. Just like that? Just like that. <laughs> I'd like to take a minute to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. We have been working with Skillshare for quite a while now and they've been such a great tool for us for personal growth. Skillshare is an online learning community with something for everyone. Whether you wanna learn new skills, boost your creativity, or explore your curiosity, Skillshare is the place for you. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons, and it's only $10 a month with an annual subscription. They offer classes on gardening, cooking, video and film, literally thousands of inspiring classes for you to explore. You can just pick and choose whatever happens to pique your interest and see where your curiosity takes you from there. Show us your balls, on meet- camera? Show us your balls. Right now? Sh show us your balls meatball making oh. at the meatball shop. Okay. With Daniel Holtzman. <laughs> has, <laughs> has inspired me to make the best tasting meatballs ever. If I had the best tasting meatballs. Okay. Show us your balls meatball making with the meatball shop by Daniel Holtzman is a culinary class where he not only teaches you the why behind what you're doing, but he inspires you to come up with your own recipe for meatballs that the whole family is gonna be pleased with. So because Skillshare is sponsoring today's video, we have a link below where the first thousand people can get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and helping to support the time and effort that creators like us put into creating free content for our viewers to enjoy. Now let's get back to the build.
you think I can <laughs> freehand all of this and not get any of it on the uh, white walls? I've seen you do before. There's a change coming. I'm feeling the ground. Sound looming right here. It's happening now. It's happening now, all around me. I'm sure it's happening now. It's happening now. Yeah, it found me. It's only about to turn time back. It's getting started four or five o'clock. It's awful. Feels like the day goes by too fast, but yes. we have gotten like all the little bits and pieces that we need to get done done so far. So I put yes. a couple of coats of the white on. Mm -hmm. The new boards that we put up, the beam, new beam, got stained, and now. Towel. So this is it. Whoosh, whoosh. I think it's gonna look good. Did we show this in the vlog channel or no? Yes. We did? And, yeah, we, went, we were at the tile shop in Manassas and we went to Tony's Pizza also. It's yes, delicious. Jeremy's the tile shop. <laughs> Josh had a great old time with that cannoli that day. Too bad y'all missed it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we needed some tile to go with our countertops, which are gray, white, but what, dark, what, what are these? blue. Quartzite. Quartzite. Quartzite correct. countertops, yes. Which yeah. we love. So I think we found something that's going to work with this. This color right here. With low designs on it. So first we gotta find center right here. I think this is center right here, right? Go. Yeah. Whoosh, whoosh, just like that. What do you think? Good. We start that, we work left, we work right. Do the top row. Okay. Just like that. Can you handle this? Well, what are, what are we going to do if it doesn't look good, Josh? We always do. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Tear it on, do it again. never noticed it before because you literally have to like bend down and look up to see it but the underside of that windowsill never got stained and now that I know that it's not stained it would have driven me nuts if I didn't fix it
basically that bottom row all right, down to that end done. So we're gonna work our way that way. We're moving fast, everything's going good. So no issues so far. Yes. Is that you? No, I'm not. buttering a tile? I, I don't do it like that, but I got no space. <laughs> see, I'm almost shocked to see you now. <laughs> I think it ties everything together Here. with all the like grays and the stainless steel and everything. And I think once we get the wood coming down, get it all finished up, um, get the grout in there and change the devices out. Be... And clean that countertop off. Yes. The island is driving me nuts. It's such a mess right now. We're almost there. Okay. a good color choice on the grout but there's really no telling until it dries <laughs> until it dries and you can actually see what it looks like we think it's gonna it's gonna dry later right it should yeah so, it's, going, it's going to i think yeah we'll see We learned really quickly that building your own house is not a linear process, especially if you've never done it before and have no blueprints. It's a winding road full of twists and turns. You plan, strategize the best you can, reevaluate, and slowly make your way one step at a time. Kind of like how you make your way through life. Of all of the things we have learned through this process, one of the things that sticks out to me the most is to appreciate wherever you are along the way, even if you're not at the end goal. Our first fall, we hadn't even finished closing in the house. We were cold and tired every day, but we were happy to be working together on a house that piece by piece we could see was taking shape. As each piece fell into place, the original work was covered up with the finishes, which while they're beautiful and the only thing that most people will notice when they look inside, the finishes are not what we see when we look around. We see our kids' reaction to reliable heat, Leon as a lamb trotting into the house, or Ellie confidently running across what was once OSB floors on which she used to be unsteady on her feet. Our team worked to raise the heavy dormer walls and our blood, sweat, and tears to get here. A house that we didn't realize in the beginning was eventually going to be a living book of memories.
You know what this means, right? What's that? Half of the house is completely done, like 100%. No stone left unturned, no trim piece unstained. It's nice. <laughs>